Allah created by lobbyists of the music and other kinds of entertainment industry. It's not a law made by lawmakers, not a law made by politicians, but purely and only a law made by people who want to earn more money in a manner that interests them the most. The problem with this law of ACTA is not just that people are not allowed to enter the internet, it's a problem that once ACTA is passed, the people of this ACTA are allowed to pass whatever damn they like. It's built in the damn law. So ACTA may not look very, the matter of very dangerous now, but it will become dangerous in the future. It's a promise of a censored internet for only those who are on the highest of level on the economy are allowed to determine what is and what is not allowed on the internet. And I do not agree with that. My internet is a wild west. It's a free ocean. I want it to be a free ocean. It's a free market. You're a capitalist. The government is regulating your free market. You're a socialist. The government is pressing down the opinion of the many. Are you a liberal? The government is doing something and you're not allowed to do anything about it. It's a bad thing. We should stop it. that uh, ACTA is not just about the copyrights in the internet, it's a patenting uh, law, so it will uh, influence also uh, the drugs for the poor countries uh, which uh, children are dying from many diseases and they would, uh, they would die even more because uh, they will not get uh, the drugs would be too expensive for them because not of the cost of the production but because cost of the patent and uh, also uh, would affect uh, as well us because uh, patenting is also patenting the food uh, GMO groups it's uh, coming uh, everywhere coming to Europe coming to Netherlands and uh, soon we gonna have to pay for it pay with our health pay with uh, our money and our lives, and, uh, our lives. like uh, many uh, farmers already paid uh, in India uh, by making suicide because they got caught into this uh, GMO patented crops. So uh, say no to ACTA, no to Monsanto, no to copyrights, copyrights of uh, everything, of our freedom, of our products, of uh, our everything. So uh, it's not just uh, the struggle of uh, people who uh, are, would like to copy something from internet but it should be struggle f all of us so uh, I would like to think uh, the song uh, about unity mainly um, because uh, we have to be united one struggle one fight solidarity is our power one struggle one fight love us and freedom are our rights one struggle one fight together we are stronger one struggle one fight we never gonna give up we never gonna give up we never gonna give up our freedom our rights our lives our lives one struggle one fight solidarity is our power one struggle, one fight. Love, force, and freedom are our rights. One struggle, one fight. Together we are stronger. One struggle, one fight. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. Our future, our hopes, our dreams, our homes. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. We never gonna give up. We never go give up. For me, 
actor is not only about the music, showing the music and copyright. For me, I see it like this. Uh, after the Arab Spring, uh, which we all have seen on the internet, what happened and how the people get together and protest against the governments, I think governments get scared and that's why they signed and uh, created this agreement of ACTA. So never, nothing like this will happen again. People won't say what they think and we will just get the information they want us to hear. So that's why I'm here this today. And I think ACTA is kind of communism where the censorship will just keep you from reality. And that's why I'm here. So say stop to ACTA. <laughs> Yeah, that's another piece of irony right there. Um, in the Arabic Spring, so many people stood up against their own governments. They had all, they all made use of Facebook, Twitter, all kinds of internet related stuff. They made movies, they made everything to make sure the government would stop doing what they're doing. And it worked. Many countries, Libya, uh, Egypt, they, they just... They just straight out uh, slayed the government by uh, joining together, protesting, marching on. And I think without the internet, that just wouldn't have happened. Um, so that's a piece of irony because um, we, we, we applauded that. Even the government applauded that. They, they, they had a relatively positive view over the fact that, that these governments were, were put over and were replaced by something else which isn't that good anyway, but um, that's an irony fact. I mean, we now are protesting against something that may help us sometime to, uh, to make sure we can do our own thing. Uh, another interesting fact, um, I think the ACTA agreement is uh, uh, not really that much in control by the government right now. It may be later if they agree to ratify it. But right now, it's mostly just something that is made up by uh, a corporation uh, lobby. So let, that, let it not be misunderstood that this is not uh, 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 mainly a government thing. I wish it was a government thing because more people would know about it because they have, they have the obligation to notify us about something like this. This is the reason why we have to protest and the reason so, so few people know about it. It's not a government plan, it's a, it's a corpora corporate plan. The mask is a symbol of anonymity. Everybody on the internet should and is always anonymous. The mask in itself is a symbol once started well, long ago by the face of Guy Fawkes and he's a French revolutionary. It was then used for the movie V for Vendetta as an inspiration and later started by 4chan and an anonymous organization of protest. It's the face of protest. Protest the physical stop to the digital. It's a protest against control. It's a protest against censorship. This face is the face of everybody. It's the face of everybody on the street and everybody on the internet. It's the face of the pirates, of the free people, the people of Facebook, the people of YouTube, the people of 4chan, the people of everybody on the internet. Your is this face. Anonymity. Geen controle, geen censuur! Geen controle, geen censuur! 
recently, later, I mean not much uh, time after they announced to set up a new project for streaming music that uh, promised to give some 95% of the profits um, to artists. That was mega upload. That was not about the upload service. It was about competition. So um, let's hear some of their music. <laughs> The thing is, you probably recognized a lot of uh, voices that are quite famous. Um, platforms such as the ones uh, we were listening to are going to be illegalized as well. This is entrepreneurship. People adapting their business when times change. This is progress. This is how humanity evolves. Copying is in our nature. It's even in our, in our genes. We even procreate by copying. to talk about one more way in which ACTA will restrict your freedoms, namely it will restrict your right to a fair trial, namely it contains provisions which require punishing alleged um, um, violations of copyright without hearing the accused person. Just to make you feel the hypocrisy of this provision. Recently, Baltazar Garzón, the famous Spanish investigator, was convicted of eavesdropping on corrupt politicians. Stop corrupt politicians protecting themselves. Stop act up. <laughs> okay, so we want government transparency as well, I see. Then newspapers got censored. Then we found out radio. We used radio. There were also pirate radio uh, channels. Then that got censored. Then TV. It got also censored. Now our last resort, internet, is also getting uh, is under stress of censorship. Well, if if it happens, I'm sure we will find out. We will find other ways to uh, to not be censored. We will express ourselves, maybe not through internet if ACTA gets through, but we will, we will, we will prevail. Another thing I want to say is that uh, in some countries, uh, our internet right, internet is a human, human foundation right. You have to right to internet. It's human, uh, how do you call it? Human right? A human right! And they made it a human right! And here, right now, if ACTA pass, they can just take your internet away without ever telling you without a conviction, without anything. It's a human right, they take it away for whatever reason they think, and maybe we're, we don't agree, but they don't care. Freedom! Yeah, yeah. Freedom!
developer and um, I think Acta and Sopa and such are, are very scary. If you think of uh, philosopher David Hume, who uh, and also um, uh, everything is remix.com and also uh, several neuroscientists have proven that we need uh, other sources of information to compile and generate new ideas, to generate new concepts and by prohibiting or managing or limiting um, yeah, the, the ability to copy information, we actually restrict our sources of information from which we can, can comprise uh, well, new ideas. So actually this law is not only uh, to protect the copyright and the monies and the monies and the greed, but it's also uh, limiting our ability to evolve intellectually as a species. So that's why I am against Okta, because it <laughs> limits my, my ability uh, to evolve. That's it. Not only your ability, our abilities. The people that actually exploit other people because of their creativity, they ask money for it, lots of money. For instance, I say an R R I A A or M P A A. They, they, they just—I don't know—they have this business model, and money is, of course, the key thing. Money is important. I'm not going to deny it. But when you say money is a goal instead of means, then something is going to go wrong if you oppose, if you make a plan. Uh, that, that has to pass legislation but it's so far up the ass of all the government officials that it's almost a certain thing that it passes legislation that something is very very wrong because then it's not just having to say that money is more important than people it's simply choosing money over people it goes way too far philosophers came to Amsterdam so they can actually speak and let their voices be heard. Now we're doing the same. margins by working harder instead of lobbying for legislation that destroys our freedom, yeah. that destroys our future. forgive and we do not forget expect us I totally agree with him I totally totally